on saving human lives. And everyone will respect that completely. In the interest of safety, can the Home Secretary please confirm that if anybody doesn't want to go to Rwanda, they can actually claim asylum in France? <laughs> Madam Deputy Speaker, France is a safe country. Um, no, no, absolutely not. If you, if you want to let me answer the question and finish, I will. If the, if the Honourable Lady wants to be less hysterical and actually listen, um, she might actually learn something about the new plan for immigration. Yes, of course, and on decision making, if you choose to listen. Well aware, well aware of. The, well, if you would like to listen, I will answer the question, and I'm doing that. No, no, absolutely not. I, I actually think members should just listen. No, actually, calm down and listen. Well, you're not even listening, so there's no point. <laughs> interested in listening to responses and please do. Um, the, the, the Thank you Mr Speaker. Can I say with respect to my right honourable friend that from what I have heard and seen so far of this policy I do not support the removal to Rwanda policy on the grounds of legality, practicality and efficacy. But I want to ask her about one very specific issue. I understand that those who will be removed will only be young men, that families will not be... Uh, well the Home Secretary is shaking her head so I've obviously misunderstood the policy in that sense. But if it is the case that families will not be broken up, and the Home Secretary is nodding, does she not believe, and where is her evidence, that this will not simply lead to an increase in the trafficking of women and children? Mr Speaker, I'm very happy to meet with the Right Honourable Lady to discuss this further and actually give her further information on this. So, actually calm down and listen. This government has done more than any other in recent history to support those fleeing persecution, conflict or instability, to deter illegal and dangerous routes of entry to the UK, thereby breaking the business model of criminal smuggling networks and protecting the lives of those they endanger. We must break their lethal and evil business model by removing the demand for their repugnant activities because people are dying attempting to come to the UK on illegal and dangerous routes. This will help break the people smugglers' business model and prevent the loss of life of people smugglers. It will deter illegal and dangerous routes of entry to the UK. And, Mr Speaker, to remove more easily from the UK those with no right to be here. To break up the evil people smuggling gangs. To bring in the deterrent effect. To stop this illegal trade in people smuggling so that they do not have to be put in the hands of the evil people smugglers. The individuals who are responsible for this trade in people smuggling, that we go after them and just let the people smugglers carry on trading, trading in human misery that actually seeks to deal with the issue of people trafficking, um, deaths in the channel, and importantly, I think the Labour Party being exposed today for having no policy, no idea as to stop people smuggling. Yeah. Access to the UK's asylum system should be based on need, not on the ability to pay people smugglers. Yeah. And we stop these routes from being viable. And Madam Deputy Speaker, we can't do this on our own. We have to work internationally with our partners, um, partners in the EU, but other international partners as well, who do want to step up, who do want to be part of the solution, and also demonstrate to other countries around the world how we can resettle refugees in a good, proper way.